Hello everyone. So today I'm going to discuss about the advanced part of this Einstein co-pilot. Just to let you know, this is the continuation of my previous video where I have already discussed in details on how you can enable and set up Einstein co-pilot in your org. I've also discussed about configuring the standard as well as custom actions that your co-pilot can perform. I would highly recommend to first go and watch that video so that you will be able to relate to this advanced part of it. So I will just quickly show you the overview of what this Einstein co-pilot is capable of doing. So let's say I'm on the home page of this Salesforce org and I want to get the billing city of a particular account. Then I can simply ask this co-pilot to bring me those details. Get me billing city of Acme account. It will take my request, analyze it for some time, then go and fetch that details from the salesforce org within this salesforce org and return the output accordingly so let's say if it is able to find the billing city of acme account yes it is as you can see the billing city is mumbai i can also go to that uh, particular account record by clicking on this link and we can verify this whether the information is correct or not on the details page i see yeah the billing city is mumbai now there can be certain commands that are beyond the salesforce or that information is not stored anywhere in the salesforce then in that case this co-pilot will not be able to fetch that information for me or perform any activity that i am asking for let's say if i ask for what is the weather of the above city so this information is not stored anywhere in the salesforce or so this co-pilot will also not be able to perform any action on this particular command See, Apology is under to, unable to retrieve weather information at the moment. This is the kind of response it will send us. Now, as a Salesforce developer, I'll be actually creating a custom action that will be able to perform this activity. That is, it will be able to fetch the weather information of any city. So let's go to setup and search for Einstein Copilot here. If you have enabled it, you will be able to see one Copilot record created already. You can just click on it and this one is the active one we can open it in a builder where we'll be able to see that palette so now we are on the einstein copilot builder as you can see on the left hand side these are the standard actions that are already defined by salesforce they are capable of identifying the records summarizing them also drafting an email but what if you want to add your custom action just like the weather information if you want to fetch First of all, you have to deactivate this copilot so that we are able to make some edits on it. Now you will see this plus icon will be enabled. We'll simply click on this and choose what type of action we want to call. So it will be an Apex class that will be invoked. We'll also have to select which Apex class to be invoked on this action. So I've already created an Apex class. This is the one get weather of city. I'll go through that Apex class as well as what it is doing, what logic is implemented and just to give you a very high level information that I have already created a separate video on this particular functionality, how you can get the weather details of a particular city. I am simply reusing that Apex class here in my copilot. I have already written the logic. I'll just go through it. But if you want to get the detailed information on how you can integrate with the external system to get the weather details, you have to watch that video first. I'll give the link in the description as well. Now we have selected the Apex class to be invoked of, on this action. We'll click on next. I'll go to the developer console to see that Apex class. Here it is. And it, it should have an invocable method, which is annotated with this one. As you can see, the label and description are exactly the same as you can see here. Copilot action label is get, get weather of city here. This is same as this one. And the description is get weather at billing city of the account. And you can see the instruction is here so it is highly recommended that you should provide the instruction clearly so that it is it, it is able to identify which apex class to call you can also edit this uh, instruction as per your convenience you can add some more details onto it weather information now let's scroll down now this apex class will also expect some input variable like the billing city for which we want to identify the weather so i have an invocable variable here which has this description billing city name for which need to 
check whether so you can see in the copilot there is one input variable here this is the same as that one in the apex class it has the same instructions as well and you can edit it if you want this is marked as require input so this is the input that copilot will send me to my apex class okay now then apex class will also send me some response to my copilot to be displayed to the user okay so for that we have this wrapper class under which we have one another invocable variable that will be returned from this particular apex class it has a description saying description of temperature at the billing city of the account you can see it here and make sure you check this box show in conversation why whatever response that apex class will send me send me it will be displayed on my einstein copilot page as well where i have requested for this information now if you see this uh, apex class it is very simple this is the method which is doing which is doing everything like it accepts the billing city under this parameter then it will simply call this apex class so this is the apex class that is actually uh, making an api call to the external system and getting the weather information like temperature and feels like these are the two only two information that i want to utilize so i'm just leveraging these this will return me the weather details and i am simply using it over here like i am framing a statement saying temperature at billing city whatever billing city i have re received from copilot is weather dot temperature whatever temperature i have received from that api call and it feels like whatever feels like is there so i have also discussed this in detail in my previous video that we can use this external system to get the weather details of any city this is the endpoint url as you can see and i have discussed in detail how you can create your account in this open weather api system how you can create your own api key that that every person has their own unique api key and we can start using them in our apex classes so you see these are the information that i am using temperature and feels like whatever it will return so we this is the very simple apex class as you can see it simply called that class with the billing city it will make an api call to the external system store the weather information here in this variable and simply framing a one statement saying the temperature at this city is this is this is the temperature and it feels like this much and simply it is returning the response like this so we will go back to the copilot now once you are done with this configuration you just have to click on finish and your action will be created just like this i'll simply use this one once you have created your custom action it will give you the option whether you want to assign it to your copilot let's assign this to copilot and it will start appearing here get weather of city as you can see now once we are done with this configuration we will activate our copilot let's go back to our home screen once again and we will perform the same activity once again and this time we'll see whether it is able to get us the weather details or not now again we will first ask for the billing city of acme account it will take my input get me the billing city of that particular acme account and then we will ask for the weather of that particular city here it is now what is the weather of the above billing city so try to be very specific with your commands as much as you can so that the copilot understands it very properly it will it is smart enough to identify which action to call at which point and as you can see the output is temperature at mumbai is 27.99 and it feels like 31.77 degrees celsius max must be so as you can see the output is as per we have designed in our apex class if you jo just want to verify we can go to that open weather api and as you can see i have passed the mumbai as a parameter here and the value of temperature is 27.99 and it feels like 31.77 this is the exact information that you are seeing here i hope this video was very helpful for you and you are now able to identify how you can add your custom actions into this copilot so that it becomes more powerful in 
giving the results or outputs to the user whatever they ask for 